Hello, I am Dr. Jyoti, consultant pediatrician at Columbia Asia Hospital, Whitefield. Today we are just going to uh, enumerate about the uh, baby's uh, various stages of development in the first year. And when a baby is born, it's the pride and joy of parents and they are uh, uh, really happy and they're looking forward to the growth of the baby with uh, a lot of dreams. So it is every parent's uh, dream to have a normal baby growing well and to make sure that the development is perfect. So we uh, in the first year there are certain uh, stages of uh, the development that uh, occur at every phase of the child's growth and we can talk about it as 0 to 3 months of age and then at 4 to 7 months and then 7 to 9 and 9 to 12 months of uh, age. So it is important to know that it's the first two years in which the maximum brain growth occurs nearly 80%. So we see a rapid development occurring in the first two years of a child's life. So when a baby is born, it's mostly uh, sleeping, waking up, or crying only for feeding and then goes back to sleep. So in the first month, the baby is almost sleeping for nearly 18 to 20 hours in a day and wakes up only for feeds. But later on, we do see more and more uh, interesting facets of uh, development that occur. So by uh, six weeks, a baby is opening eyes more often, able to focus on mother's face for a few minutes which is more consistent by eight weeks. The baby begins to track mother's face or familiar people to about 180 degrees uh, and that is more consistent by about three months. While initially a baby may smile only in sleep, what we call spontaneous smile, it is by two and a half to three months that the social smile that's in response to interaction with the baby starts. And um, this is about the um, uh, cognitive or the uh, uh, the adaptive uh, developmental milestones. When we come to the uh, motor milestones, in the first three months, there's really not much that's occurring. Baby mostly keeps her, her fist closed and does not really turn uh, because the reflexes, the tonic neck reflex and the atonic symmetric, uh, the atonic reflex, neck reflex are very active and that helps, that prevents baby from turning over. Whereas uh, by the time uh, the baby is about one and a half months to two months, then the babies do start developing a little bit of neck control, which we see when we put a, pull a baby up to sit from supine position. This neck control is better by three months and almost complete by five months when we see that the baby's head does not really lag when we pull the baby to supine position and the baby is able to support her neck when carried. And uh, the babies also begin to uh, uh, start attempting to turn over by the time uh, she's about uh, three to four months when we see these first few attempts, which become more uh, sustained by the time of five to six months. Some babies, of course, may start turning over only by five, five and a half months and complete rolling over from supine to prone may occur only by seven months of age, which is perfectly fine. It's important to note that there is a variation in the developmental milestones. It's not exactly at a particular month. There's always a, a plus minus of one or two months for every developmental milestone. And so parents need not panic if something does not occur at the uh, designated time. Mm -hmm.